So we're going to go ahead and start mixing our colors for our multi-block project number two print. So Bryson already has his key image locked into place with the jig that he used to transfer onto his color blocks. So here he locked them in. And we already set the pressure just like the first project. So we went ahead and ran a newsprint to make sure it was embossed and we, you know, slowly added pressure. And of course we're going to use the uh, chipboard as well. So we're going to go ahead and mix colors. I'm going to show you how to do that. Of course, you know, we have uh, basically the primary colors. We're using Gamblin etching ink. Okay. So some of these inks will probably still be, you know, available. Uh, if we're not going to use all the ink, then we're going to place it in some uh, aluminum foil. And then we're going to place it in this bin over here. So other people can first look over here first before you start getting or mixing colors. That way, if there's already a color that you like, you can just use it. So first thing you want to do is you want to get ink knives that are able to bend. That's so you can actually mix the ink. You don't want to get one that's stiff, like they won't bend at all. So you can't mix ink that way. You have to get ink knives that are able to bend. Or you can actually push the pigments to get and mix them. So depending on you know how many people are printing, um, you know if you're by yourself, you have free reign to use you know these uh, glass tables. Of course, this is the biggest one we have right here, but we do have other ones. Just be aware, you know, that mixing colors it does take space. So, for example, you know we always start off by just having an ink knife for each color that we're going to use. So your white, your red, blue have some trans base, and then when we mix colors together then we need another separate ink knife. So you know, we'll get ink, we'll place it in another pile, then we'll get ink from here, from this knife, put another pile right next to it, and then we'll get this other knife and makes a brand new color, and this will be its own knife. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a light blue. So just so you know, when you make a lighter shade of a color, you never just get blue and then start adding white to it. Okay, you never do that. You should always start with white, and then just get a little bit, a tiny, very, a very small amount of blue and mix it in. And you start adding a little bit at a time. Okay. So things to remember when you're using uh, color inks, you know, the ink that you see when you mix it is it's not going to be the same when it's printed. So, you know, that is, looks really saturated and it's very opaque. You know, when it's actually printed, this will be a very, very light blue when it's printed as opposed to like right now it's really dark it's not going to print like that okay so what you see on the when you mix the ink it's going to be different you know when you see it on your brayer it's going to be different when you see it on the blocks it's going to be different until it's on the paper then you won't know so some of these things you can actually play with and mix you know and when you actually get down to it you can see you know okay i like this shade of blue well you need to remember the ratio you know like how much white per blue so you need to remember all those things if you're going to do it again or in the future if you were going to try to get close to it or match colors but we're not doing anything like that we're just having fun and just experimenting and enjoying the process okay so we're going to go ahead and uh, mix a light blue so you can go ahead and get some white huh i got the point i'm with you oh go. sure so i'm going to go ahead and put some white on a new pile and then whenever we mix ink um, you know, because we're going to have like multiple brayers going because we're going to have multiple uh, blocks going at the same time. Um, you should definitely mix the ink, you know, in front of you, like not away from you because you're going to use your brayer in front of you. You don't want to have to, you know, mix the ink right in front of you and then you're going to stretch over it. Okay, so. And the first thing, of course, before you mix any colors is, of course, clean your area. You know, use simple green. Make sure the knives are clean as before you start getting colors and you don't want to contaminate you don't want a dark color you know someone using black you're getting white and then all of a sudden it's contaminated in the can okay so be very aware you know make sure everything's clean so now i have some white here now i'm not going to put this whole thing in i'm really just going to get like a tiny little amount okay i don't want to 
just go crazy. So now I'm going to use this ink knife and it's, it's only going to be meant for this color. A little bit of, you know, color goes a long way with, with white. And if you want to add more, you can add more, but you just slowly, you know, mix it together. And this is just color mixing, so, you know, this is its own process before you start getting the brayers out and start actually adding it to your blocks. Okay. So we'll just keep adding until you know until Bryson likes the color, and then from there I'll show you like different ways you could use color. You can do uh, rainbow rolls, which is getting two colors next to each other on one brayer, and then you can like blend it together to have a blend from one color to the other. And you can just put you know two colors on one block. Okay. So the next demo I'll show you how to print multiple blocks. Right now, I just wanted to show you kind of how to set up for mixing colors.